kicker Graham Gano set to put his foot into this one. And off we go from Nashville. Tennessee brings its offense to the field for the first time, and that means that we get to see the electric rookie out of Liberty, Malik go, Willis. Cut. Willis going to throw it right away. And the open receiver, it's Robert Woods. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Willis will look to throw on first down. He's going to rifle one deep left side. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Titans. Traylon Burks, his first NFL reception, goes for six. And the Titans are on the board here first in the season opener. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 21. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he's got a man. It's the former Titan, Jared Cook. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Now Jones finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. They'll run and hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. And that one coming on his opening carry of the season. Do you give him a mulligan? You would like to, but this game counts. <laughs> if this yeah. were preseason, he'd get a mulligan. But this is for real, so not expecting that at all. Got to find a way to take care of it. I'm sure. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. They find some open field here. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Well, with Saquon Barkley, you often think of the elusiveness, the quickness, but... <laughs> He can definitely run with purpose as well, and he's able to shed a tackler there and continue on. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. A first down carry for Barkley. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 48 yards rushing for him now. What a drive for him to kick off the new season. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. And the Titans going to signal for a timeout defensively. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Throwing. 
Sterling Jones. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Tony. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Looking to throw. Jones. No, bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. Well, give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him, but it's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field, and he just gave up at a minimum. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. Following the fumble recovery, Willis. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. But Charles, you know, for this offense, we take a look at the draft class here. They were looking for a playmaker, and they found one on the outside. And the way teams are throwing the football nowadays, you can't afford to skip at the wide receiver position. I know that the slot guy is getting more attention now, but that guy in the perimeter, he makes you go. And he is out up around the 15-yard line. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. I haven't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he will try to run through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from Tennessee, and it's the homestanding Titans in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Meanwhile, Willis is throw into the hands of Hooper, and he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. Henry running right. He'll take this to the 46. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Second down, they go again with Henry. And he's going to get this pretty close to the first down marker at the Giants' 39. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. They'll try to run for the first with Henry, and he's going to have the first down at about the 38. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the dog ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Willis looking to throw it. They set up the screen for Henry. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Okay, break. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Third down, it's Willis. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now Willis on first and 10. And he can't get rid of it, he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Another try after the first down sack. Willis. 
And this is caught. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. An excellent gain, 35 yards. They, they made no bones about it. They wanted to throw this rookie right into the fire, see what he could do. He shows what he can do there. And you have to really put the time and effort in because playing a receiver in the NFL is a difficult task. And for a rookie, all that you have to learn to get on the same page with your quarterback, that's excellent coaching. And how about how he's picked things up? Touchdown! Derrick Henry from a yard out. And the Titans go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May and that you worked on in July and August, getting ready for this game, it's all coming together so far. Now Bullock to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that one a 13-play drive in total. And it was finished off on the touchdown reception by Derrick Henry. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. We'll remind you that coming up tonight, the first Sunday nighter of the new season. And how about this for a matchup? The Buccaneers and the Cowboys from Dallas, 820 Eastern. Then tomorrow, Monday night, just one game here in week one this year. And it'll pit the Broncos and Seahawks as Russell Wilson makes his Bronco debut. And of course, where is it? Seattle. Coincidence? We'll let you decide. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. To throw again, Jones to the sideline, and it's caught. But, boy, he's out of bounds. Now they try to get him into space coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and 10. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and 10. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. An incomplete pass on second down. That muddles things a little bit here. This is third and 10. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. Room here to run. There he goes, left side. 20. And they do finally get him at the 12. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Now Jones on first and 10. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. So the completion good for 6 yards. And that's going to bring up second down. But he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL. Being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Four yards to go on second down from the seven. Back to throw, Jones. And he'll just get rid of it. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. Gano's kick is good, and they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3.
Now, maybe a moral victory of sorts. They're on the board here late in the first half, but this offense just hasn't looked that sharp. Yeah, but at least they got the three points, right? At least have something to, quote, unquote, hang their hats on and maybe feel a little bit better about themselves as they head to the half. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll get started out in Texas, NRG Stadium in Houston where it was the visiting Colts. Who were it looks like we'll have to wait another week to get our first halftime report of the season as we move right along to the second half. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. This will be fielded inside the five. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Giants about set to go to begin this third quarter. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start calling back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense. He's got a man complete. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. 33 yards that time. Looking to throw, Jones. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. That's complete to Tony. He'll get it inside the 20. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. 39 yards there, a big one. I don't think there's anyone who could possibly doubt how fast he could run in the open field, but if there were, he silenced those thoughts there. Barkley. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? Barkley again. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Saquon Barkley, his first rushing touchdown on the year. And the Giants are back within a score. Jones throwing for it. He's got it at the two. And he'll get in for the two points. So that'll cut the deficit down to just a field goal. I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. Tennessee's offense back to work again. We'll see Traylon Burks. Good day for him so far here, here in the go, third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once, over 100 yards. But, hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes, that means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Probably feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. From the 25 on second down. Willis, that one a first down pickup of eight. To the air on first down, here's Willis. This will go to Henry out wide. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. A nice completion there for the first down. And Charles, you think about the quarterbacks of recent vintage that have been thrust into action week one. It's no guarantee of future success, but 
we sure have seen some good ones. We certainly have, partner. How about Joe Burrow with the Bengals in 2020? He was excellent. Kyler Murray with the Cardinals. The best part about his game has his team right on the brink of the playoffs. And Deshaun Watson has won division titles after having started from day one. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Oh, he catches it off the tip. It wasn't even intended for him. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 31-yard line. Hurry, hurry! Hurry, hurry! Come back in! Come back in! First and 10, Willis. Complete. It's Henry. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A nice throw right there, and these fans getting their first look at their QB1 of the future. And I'd imagine it's got to be a big plus for him to get his first start here in front of that home crowd. I know there's a school of thought about getting your first start away from home so you don't have the extra pressure of that crowd behind you. But I say ride the wave. Embrace it. Go ahead and play to that level, and I think it's going to benefit him in the long run. A first down carry for Henry. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Second down and goal. Willis. Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. Robert Woods, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Titans are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Bullock good on the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. Well, you don't see that often. He just mishit it, and it goes out of bounds. Well, I know sitting up here, and I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me, and I know we're both thinking the same thing. Isn't it easy enough to keep it between the sidelines? Because unless you're intentionally doing it for some reason, but well, that's a costly mishit, and now you put your team in a bad spot. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. We are through three quarters here on NFL Back now in Nashville. It's the Giants with possession of the football, but needing points as we start quarter number four. From the 44, Jones. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Jones to throw on third down. It's caught inside the 25. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Well, partner, that's how you make a long drive suddenly. Not so long anymore. One big play, and they're already in field goal range with designs on getting more than that. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Off the play fake, Jones. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. They bring a man off the corner that time, and he gets home for a loss of six. He had some real defensive resistance there, saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Crystal foul, roughing the passer, defense. 
But Charles there trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. After the penalty, they go with Barkley. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Now second and nine from the 10. They'll go to Barkley again. The time is called. Looks like a member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. Jones now on third down. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Jared Cook. An 11 yard touchdown. And the Giants have made it a one. Game again here in the fourth. Extra point try, good by Godot. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Godot now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And Hilliard will elect to not return it. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all of their timeouts. So we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those gain the ground that we need in order hey, to put this hey. game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you got another thing coming. Yeah, and then by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. Ready. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. No, no. Alert, alert. Third and two, Willis. Oh, they would have gotten a conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. Well, they certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Fourth down, Willis. And he comes back with one complete. And he is going to pick up the Titans first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. On first down, Willis. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this is caught. A big play that time for the Titans. 57 yards. two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Titans in possession of the Let's football here as we get your reset. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Right back to the air again with Willis. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up the secondary all game long. And this time, that was a missile that he threw into the end zone and adding another touchdown to his ledger. And I think we see these youngsters develop a lot quicker than we ever have because when they get started in this game, they're not just throwing passes around. They're reading coverages early. So now they're like seasoned pros earlier in their career. How about this one here? If they win this ball game, a game ball definitely coming from his head coach. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. So now Jones and the Giants 
Down by nine. A minute 54 on the clock. They'll need a score here and also likely an onside kick recovery. But first things first. First and ten. Meanwhile, Jones' throw taken in by Cook. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 30. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Here's Jones. Pass complete to Shepard. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. To throw is Jones. Got a man open. It's Ricky Seals-Jones. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Jones. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Elijah Molden. Well, we knew this was going to be a tall order anyway, down two scores with this little time remaining, but that interception puts an end to any hopes that they have. All right, partner, work with me here because obviously scoring a touchdown, getting the onside kick, then going down, scoring again. Well, that's asking a lot, isn't it? And that's really not a great expectation to begin with. I think they'll look back on this game and see what got them in this spot in the first place and say to themselves, we really gave this game away. Here's Willis. Steps away. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Here's Willis. He's got Hooper on the short connection, and he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now it looks like he'll throw here. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. Five yards remain on second down. Willis back to throw it. Forced out to his left. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Call it a gain of 11 yards, and that should just about do it. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Willis back to throw here. Now he's got it, and it's a Titans touchdown. Traylon Burks making quite a splash with his second touchdown in his NFL debut. And the Titans are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Another touchdown through the air for them and for this rookie quarterback at the helm. He has put them in a great position, Charles, to get the victory in this one. He's absolutely taken charge. Every touchdown for them has come via his arm. Zero rushing touchdowns, no special teams, no defensive scores. All him throwing the football. He's in cruise control right now, and so is his team. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere seeing that play. Focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. The New York set to take the field. They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened during the game in this sequence here. Maybe you hand it off and let someone run the ball if you, if you so choose. But otherwise, just kneel down, call it a day, and try to prepare going forward. And he's going to pick up a first down here as that clock continues to run. Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week one, and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend.
And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record. But everyone's going to have to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year, you make your most progress between week one and week two. We'll see how both of these teams progress the rest of the season. So for Tennessee, that'll be a happy locker room as they start the season 1-0. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Buffalo Bills. Meanwhile, for the Giants, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll be back home next week as they're set to take on the Carolina Panthers.